Hey guys, welcome to the second match of the second set between Seriosity and Striker. Thus far, Striker's been absolutely dominating. At upper right-hand corner, we have Seriosity starting as the red Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. In the second set, Striker up 1-0. A quick match last time. We'll see if Seriosity is able to find something to adjust. Right now, I remember hearing, actually, Jayun talk about this. If you guys haven't already checked it out, go ahead and check out the uh, winter edition of the well i guess it's not the winter edition at the end of the year there's always like a brood war special for the pylon show yeah jayun on it and he actually was bringing up striker and it's like striker is one of those guys you play and you just play solidly and you lose and you can't exactly tell why you lost and i feel like you got to play yeah very solid very careful um otherwise he will just and you can't even point at anything that's the other problem with it and i feel like i get the sense of that with striker where it's like yeah what do you do against this he i like what striker does and i, I feel like uh he does a very, very good job of making it where his opponents need to make decisions that are extremely risky or a little bit vague in order to do the adjustment. So with that big macro build, it's like, go ahead and take a quick third and then hope I don't all in you, uh, as an example. Maybe that's a solution. I don't even know. It's like one of those things where I look at it and I'm like, what can Protoss even do against Striker? Once again, this time op opening up Overpool. Curiosity does get first scout, so that is an advantage. He does have first pylon down. Curious what he's going to opt to do this time. I almost want to see him go for like an in-base proxy at one of these points. We have a little water. Uh, Striker already moving out a drone scout. I think he knows on the speed of this scout that is, looks like. Was that an attack on the drones? No, it looks like he's just trying to steal some minerals. Every once in a while, I'll see a probe attack cross that line. Seriosity, it looks like he wants to go for a 13 Nexus. Is he going to go ahead and plop a Forge down? He is going to get the Preventative Forge down first. I was about to say that might be extremely dangerous considering he's going to have potentially several Zerglings coming at him. Looks like there's only going to be the Pair, which should provoke at least a cannon. Drone up here trying to... Wow, actually, the drone got up here a lot of damage, actually, on that drone before exiting. The Nexus warping down. I think Seriosity will be okay because with just the two Zerglings, even if they manage to sneak through, probes can attack it heads up. Natural Expansion on 14. After those initial Zerglings going out, Extractor on the way. And I think it was around the 215 mark. And the third hatchery in position at the 6 o'clock. It'll be a bit before the minerals funnel in to plant. Photon Cannon warping in behind the gateway with kind of an kind of an interesting blockade gap. I'm, is that to... I'm wondering if that's to hug the right wall. I'm actually wondering if at this position, if this is Ling Tight. Well, actually, what needs to be blocked? We'll have to see as the Zealots morph in. This is where I need to do my studying. I'll know by the end of all this, just because we're going to see Fighting Spirit so many times. Six o'clock position, the hatchery morphing. And I think the gateway, yeah, this becomes tight. This is obviously a gap. Um, I'm trying to, yeah. This is one of those things, if I, if I played way more often, I would be like, yes, this is the, the walling mechanics of this. It's kind of one of those things with Brood War with... I almost wish they had, they like, colored the lines of something to, like, make it a little bit more transparent it's one of those things that's it's part of the skill i guess but it, it's kind of a weird part of the skill yeah it's like you got to know what buildings blockade in weird situations so that you don't get ling all in or zealots can pass through probe returning triumphantly home another probe scout actually moving out to make sure it keeps eyes in the space layer morphing for striker again be very abusive as we've seen previously in this match second assimilator warping down so it looks like seriosity is thinking about Maybe, <coughs> excuse me, opting for Dark Templar, Early High Templar, Early Gas Heavy Tech of some form or another. Maybe even Double Stargate. We'll see. Layer morphing. This this can be an indicator of either... In seriosity, also finding that hatchery timing at the 6 o'clock location. This can be an indicator of either... Uh, actually, shoot. Let me go ahead and remove this. I forgot I was removing that in the upper left corner. This can be either an indicator of 3 hatch muta, potentially. It can also be an indicator of that four hatch build and that's what i mean by striker really liking utilizing those kind of abusive situations where you're not quite sure which is going to be you really have to get a good look at the drone line the mineral uh, and the mineral timings as far as when everything is happening layers finished 200 minerals on the edge and there's that's the other thing with this there's a lot of locations to go ahead and drop tech it looks like the spire is going to be dropped so thus far looking like three hatch spire for 3-Hatch Muta. 
Zergling chasing down this probe. That probe actually exiting out. It's Zealot making its way into the 6 o'clock location, trying to get a drone kill. Instead, it's going to go ahead and let's see if I can do this properly. Yeah, going to go ahead and sneak behind that mineral line to make sure it can engage at least one Zergling at a time, maybe two. It's already got two Zerglings down, working on a third, but it looks like Striker able to... There's enough room where the rest of the Zerglings were able to sneak around there. Seriosity in his base does have that Stargate. He is going weapons one, does have a Citadel of a Dune, and is, yeah, dropping that Templar Archives to go ahead and go for potentially Dark Templar play in the mid-game. Spire about halfway finished. This is moving more towards four hatch play, four striker. And that will be scattered by that first Corsair. One thing with the timing of this is Seriosity is going to have not much of a window. I think that's the advantage of this is, is there's just not much of a window to really pick off Overlords when you go for this style of four hatch play. Because the Spire doesn't finish in too long. And so you kind of got to go for it. But you got to also be careful with this Corsair and kind of babysit it because that Spire finishes... Like right now, you see the initial Scourge being produced. And so, yeah, he might get this Overlord. Actually, he's going to get this Overlord kill with the timing of everything. But he needs to be careful because the Scourge can chase it down very, very rapidly. Uh, and so, and you want to keep that Corsair alive to get the additional scouting information. So now, Striker in the red. So nice early advantage for Seriosity, which he hasn't been able to capitalize on previously. Fifth Hatchery planting an Evolution Chamber at the 6 o'clock location. This is like more standard Striker style. Another Overlord being pecked away at. Four Scourge are making their way, and this can be a critical moment here. That Overlord on the verge. But yeah, Seriosity have to back off now. And the Scourge is going to go ahead and escort it, escort them back to home base. In the meantime, third Corsair being produced. Cannon on the front. Actually, Cannon's not here to really defend the main. The Corsairs look like they're going to be sufficient. Two photo Cannons on the front door. Level 1 weapons about halfway finished. No additional gateways. So really, and I like the Scourge wandering up. And this is... I think what Striker likes to see, he moves up with the Scourge, he sees a lack of cannons at the back wall, and sometimes what that can provoke is a Muta switch at some point to go ahead and exploit that. And we'll see if that happens. In the meantime, he is building Hydralisks to go ahead and get a nice SimCity. Hydralisk speed on the way. Some Overlords actually pocketing themselves in the bottom left-hand corner. But a good amount of Corsair is already out. High Templar are already out on the front door, preventatively. Some Zerglings kind of fanning out there. But no DTs on the field as of yet. And I'm not surprised. Well, a, so, so, Seriosity up in supply. I actually feel like that's the right call here because Striker tends to be so good at defending this. You have Phenomenized Carapace along the way. And you can just see the build order flow of this that just makes it very frustrating, very frustrating for a Protoss player to make any headwind. See what Seriosity can pull out. He does have the High Templar to. Uh, he's building High Templar right now when he might want to be more aggressive. And he was kind of building those preventatively just in case there was an all-in Hydralisk attack. But instead, Seriosity, now that he's got a minimum amount of Hydralisks, uh, put, adding additional hatchery and going more macro and joining up behind it. So you can see where Seriosity would be frustrated in this situation. The Hydralisk is now moving forward. There is going to be a follow-up situation where these high, these high Templar are going to be valuable because it is going to be a potential can you burst out of this situation coming down the line. Level 1 weapons there for the High Templar. The Corsair is now streaming forward. Scourge on patrol across that midline. They do have level one weapons, so they should be able to take with they can catch. Well, actually, fate. Whew, okay, one of them getting wiped out. The second Scourge being taken out. Looking for overlords. There are Hydralisks underneath. If they focus fire, yeah, they can go ahead and ward this back. But Striker, yeah, already has all of these overlords covered. And even the ones in the left hand corner that he had hid, yeah, just covered. Great play on his part. Striker still behind the overall supply count. Hydralis nearby, but this is looking like a formidable army by Seriosity. He's got a lot of Zealots, he's got a lot of High Templar, and with some decent Storm, you might be able to push forward and get something done. Adding a robotic facility in the midst of this. Lurker Tech is just about to finish, but there is a window here where if Seriosity moves out, he might be able to land on something, maybe even drop some Psy Storm before... Uh, did he get any additional kills? Doesn't look like he got any additional kills. was hunting for Overlords and not finding them. But might have been a window there. Instead, running out with these Zealots with their leg speed and able to get pretty much free kills. Not even losing shield. Zealots getting split a bit. Zergling running to that 3 o'clock base. Or actually, I think he might have just been on patrol there. It's going to get wiped out rather rapidly. And that's going to provoke a lot of Hydralisks. And hopefully we'll see if Lurkers, yeah, morphing. So Striker trying to move forward by himself some time to keep the, zealot, the potential Zealot pressure from, Zer from Seriosity back. But in the interim, Seriosity is free with his army to potentially go ahead and establish a third. 
Stryker, though, is starting to transition into that stage of the match where he has got 46 drones already. In the midst of this, the Corsair, ooh, one of them getting taken out, even a lot of fire. Still no observer. So these Hydralisks and Lurkers starting to press towards the front. This is not, not a huge attack force. And Psystorm could deal with it fairly easily. But with reinforcements, this could, this could turn into a formidable contain very, very rapidly. Slew of High Templar with all sorts of energy waiting for this. The Zalts have swung around. Six o'clock location, a Lurker blocking the way. But it's a, and it looks like we are going to potentially see some Dark Templar drops. Three o'clock location being aggressively grabbed from Striker. Corsair is still flooding across, trying to keep eyes on where this army is at in the midst of everything. The Scourge might get wiped out as well, opening up a window. Corsair actually giving his life in the midst of there. Another Corsair being, so that the shuttle thinking better of it, knowing that there's a bunch of Hydralisks right there. Maybe they can still sneak into the three o'clock location. There's an Overlord there already. Man, just Striker, so good at this. So he's already capping a, a fourth base. Seriosity still has not yet grabbed his third. He's still macroing up. He's way ahead in supply. But he's just only been sitting on the single forge. Is opening things up. Level 1 weapon, level 1 armor. But there's still level 1 spines. And level 2 spines is not that far off. Without detection, still out in the field. The shuttle's also kind of stranded. Doesn't really have a place where it can go ahead and plop itself down. And the Corsair fleet looks like it's been thinned. I haven't done a really good job of keeping an eye on that. Another Dark Templar has managed to sneak that bottom left-hand corner. But right now, Seriosity still sitting on two bases. It looks like he just more or less wants to maybe max off these two bases. In Zealot, High Templar, and Dragoons finally has some observers to rejoin and is looking to move out and pick a fight. Striker sometimes can get caught off guard in these situations where he doesn't have eyes. He really, yeah, you can see he's kind of, he's moving along the left-hand side of the map, but he doesn't see this army peeling forward, but ha doesn't have his lurkers established just yet. Now the lurkers planted. The Hydralis moving up. Some Hydralis trying to distract from the back end, looking to see if they're High Templar to pick off. And a couple of Hydralis moving a little bit too far forward and getting wiped out. So now Seriosity looking for some soft location. The Hydralis again peeling up. Looking for High Templar to pick off. Not getting a lot accomplished there. Some Psy Storms on the Lurkers on the low ground. Seriosity having a pretty good engagement here. Great Psy Storm catching Overlords and practically everything else. Honestly, the Overlord fleet right there might have been worth taking over. And now... Diving into the 3 o'clock location with a huge army that I do not think is going to be stoppable. Lurkers trying to move in behind this. They are bunched up. That's still Psystorm bait. Seriosity being very patient with the Psystorms, just kind of letting them burrow. Is he going to actually drop a Psystorm and all that? Wiped out most of everything. Ooh, that army actually got peeled out pretty rapidly. I should have paid attention. I thought it was just going to kill everything and that would be that. Now reinforcements streaming into 3 o'clock location. So he's going to be able to take out the 3... Take out a lot of drones here as well. It's going to be hard for Striker to press into this, especially going up a ramp with Psystorm to greet him. So damage has been done, but Seriosity still hasn't taken a third base, but has a great supply lead. Still has the weapons lead, level 2 weapons, just now coming online, which is going to make those Lurkers and Hydralisks even stronger. But another attack force... Has been fueled by Seriosity. His main starting to get a little bit thin. His natural expansion also looking a bit thin. A single Zergling has also been patrolling across here. An Overlord going out there just to check as well. That shuttle. Did I miss that shuttle? I think I might have missed a drop in the midst of this as well. Shuttle going to go ahead and drop some Zealots into the main. Doing a bad job observing in the midst of this. Zealots able to take out a couple Hydralisks, but haven't gotten on the drones yet. It looks like the a Dark Templar able to get a kill there. But uh, otherwise, cleared out. I need to get rid of that G-Force thing. Zelt streaming down. Finally, still taking out a couple Hydralis, but with the reinforcements, not able to get any drone kills. So a bit of a missed opportunity there. Seriosity flooding forward to that 12 o'clock location. It looks like he does want to establish a third there. A couple Dragoons getting away from this army. It looks like he's just... Oh, he was going to try to take the three. Are you kidding me? Very aggressive. Turn around, Psystorm. High Templar gets picked off in the midst of this. So the probe lose it. Light. Yeah, the probe dies. The observers take some damage, but remain. But Striker now knows that three o'clock base is being taken. It looks like... I was thinking there's... Is this going to be a double expand situation? So Seriosity now expanding into Striker. Striker trying to grab the bottom left-hand corner. 
and Striker way behind in supply. But I'm still not, not going to count him out of it yet because this is Striker. Uh, Seriosity, though, finally finding headroom. He's in a great position. 40 supply up. Taking away a base by expanding into it. Kind of le letting a skeleton crew out there, though. Able to kill a handful of attack forces that are moving through. And Striker, way behind in supply. He's only got the single evolution chamber. Has not made his way to hide. It looks like he's mostly wanted to try to out-macro Seriosity. And Seriosity has stayed ahead of this by basically sitting on two bases. Although he's losing bits of army positioning right here. And, Str and Seriosity now diving across midfield. A couple of his units getting out of position. It looks like he's regathering a little bit. Well, maybe not. Yeah, losing, donating a couple units for free, but this is going to allow him to go ahead and get that 3 o'clock base up. So that is going to be 3 base. Actually, effectively 2 mining bases. And he is going to go ahead and try to take that 12 o'clock location. Striker grabbing 2 hatcheries at the bottom left. The Zealot walking all the way in. That is a wide stride Zealot. Is he going to get a drone kill as well? What a hero. Gets the drone kill on top of everything else. But sees the double hatcheries planning in the bottom left hand corner as well. So, Seriosity. Big supply lead. Level 2 armor coming online. Level 1 carapace coming online for Striker. Striker now making his way towards Hive. It looks like I did miss, yeah, probably an earlier drop or maybe even another drop. Apologies for that. I'll catch more as Fighting Spirit continues because there's going to be a lot of games. The loser's bracket is best of seven of best of seven as well, just to let you guys know. And it's double, yeah, it's double ammunition. Cannons being morphed to a 12 o'clock location and Seriosity looking much stronger in this, and I think he might be able to pull out a win here. Striker is covering a large amount of map space, though. Overlord's spreading out absolutely everywhere. Moving towards Seriosity, trying to take some space. The Observer's a little bit lagged. Empty side storm right there, but still has plenty of attack force to press through the rest of this. And those Zealots actually eating a lot. The Observer is a little bit hugging a little, little bit too far to the left, eating a lot of Lurker Fire, but nevertheless, Able to walk all the way through the observers too far in front of that army. Both of them get picked off, and that is gonna let that's gonna force Psystorm to be the main defense against this Lurker army. So Seriosity making a critical error. And walking oh my goodness. Walking across I don't want to say a minefield here because this is StarCraft, but walking across the spike field, but supply plummeting with mis mistaken observer placement. You can just see it as an absolute scattering disaster. So, a bit... Oof. Seriosity losing a lot... All of a sudden behind in supply after that exchange. Having a little bit of trouble mining that gas as well. And Hive Tech is up two additional evolution chambers on the field as well, which is going to make Seriosity's upgrade advantage a little bit harder to maintain. More observers pushing out. That 12 o'clock base... Is starting to mine for Seriosity. He's also grabbing that gas, but the bottom left-hand corner is also up. A Nidus Canal also being established, and we are looking at three, maybe four base erg. This shuttle getting picked off. Striker wise to those attacks at this stage. A, wow, this probe somehow sneaking through. This probe is seeing things, man. Seeing things. High Templar. Ooh, again, Seriosity having trouble keeping his army cohesive. He's lucky that Striker was in position to pick that off. A probe. Just trying to scout bottom left. I think it wants to see whether that natural is taken or not. I think it gets a good look at it. So Seriosity wants to try to pick off the late mining bases here. But he is way behind in supply all of a sudden. Granted, a good portion of that is in drones. Striker getting caught with lurkers unburrowed out in the open. Some drones now transferring to the bottom left. Seriosity backing up now that he feels like he's been spotted. And I'm wondering if he's going to just turn so... If he's just going to turn this into a uh, match or if he's just going to pull the trigger now. He's got 61. I think he's just going to start pulling the trigger. We are starting to see uh, Zerglings and uh, Hydralis being produced. I think the Adrenal upgrade has finished. Looks like Ventral Sacks also being upgraded to go ahead and potentially do a drop. They have a very mobile army in the late game. And yeah, the blue is starting to stream across the field. Hydralisks and Zerglings. Level 1 Carapace, level 1 Weapons. There for the Zerglings as well. And there's a lot of gas to work with and more gas on the way. A couple Zerglings getting a little bit too far ahead. Striker having trouble controlling his army midfield here. This grouping of Hydralis trying to back up. Doesn't want to eat a heavy Psystorm. A lot of Psystorm 
ready for Seriosity. He's starting to move into this bottom left-hand corner. Lurker field a bit in the way. Try not make the same mistake. It looks like one Dragoon getting a little bit too far forward. A bit of an empty side storm right there. One High Templar picking, getting picked off. Wow, how did Striker manage that one? Overlords overhead getting picked off as well. Side storm blanketing a lot of these units. The Zerglings being flooded through. The Zerglings being cleaned up by some side storm. The Zealots not in front to engage them. But some nice precision storms there from Seriosity. Zerglings sweeping in from behind, trying to catch the High Templar and the Dragoons. And able to do so, the Zealots have been wiped out. So now this army in retreat. It doesn't have the buffer. Psystorm blanketing this army in retreat is catching a lot, but Seriosity still well behind in the supply count. Observers being picked off in the midst of this, and Striker just carving this army. And there's GG from Seriosity, realizing that he can't stop the mining in the bottom left and corner. was behind overall in the flat mining count. And that is GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So set... I was thinking that was one Seriosity who's going to pull out, unfortunately. Uh, did not happen. So set two, game two goes to Striker once again, and we'll move on to set two, game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.